Good afternoon and thank you for coming back to another Tony Montana video. Uh, please excuse me, you might hear my daughter, she's next to me. Um, I just got uh, uh, someone in my uh, comments, uh, some one of my videos uh, r mentioned that, um, mentioned a dog and his misunderstanding of that dog in terms of um, who's actually, who's whose influence that dog has in terms of genetic influence. Um, and then, obviously, that's connected to the merit of the dog. Um, there was a John Pollen. John Pollen, you mentioned uh, uh, the, supposed, the supposed grand champion at all, because I say supposed because, to me, that title is much, very much questionable. But uh, uh, we're not... We're not going into that topic right now. We are going to break down his pedigree because, yes, I did say that Chico Lopez, whatever, I, the more the dogs has has an influence, Chico Lopez's influence in that pedigree, the more of a more shell of the dog it is. Now, you mentioned, oh, what about those? Is he a shell of the breed? First, again, I don't know how, um, I really don't, I really have a question have big questions on on the uh, type or level of competition if he really went into competition the level of competition he went into uh, so in, in that terms uh, I don't know if he actually was for example animal aggressive I don't know that and if he was animal aggressive it was it kind of like in uh, just us like I don't know but that's but we can look at the pedigree because the pedigree shows you whose influence uh, the, the dog has, who's, how many decision makers there were uh, in the, the decision of the, the base that created the, uh, that particular dog. And I'm not talking about the first, second, third, fourth generation. Obviously, uh, a person such as uh, Chico Lopez that has uh, um, uh, 30 plus years breeding dogs, making, uh, supposedly has these, uh, uh, chemistry, or excuse me, lab or microscopical uh, eye for this, you know, for choosing good dogs. You would think that in 30 years he had been choosing generation to through generation of good dogs. And this is why I continue to say Chico Lopez dogs today are just a shell. And anything that was kind of worth something and, and any level, and I'm not saying highest level, I'm talking about some sort of level, and we have to take his word for it for most of it. Yes, uh -huh. and most of it, well, you know, but like I said, pedigree doesn't lie. Uh, you just have to be careful what you read online, but pedigree doesn't lie. So let's take a look at uh, Grand Champion Atos pedigree, and let's break down the level, what it is. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so we are here, and you can see the from left to right that the first two dogs, uh, Mechanic Buck and Deadly Speed. Yes, we are. These two dogs were owned by Chico Lopez. Uh, so yes, so they were owned by Chico Lopez, both of them. So he gets married for that generation. Yes, he gets a married for the for the parents of. Of uh, this dog, uh, Atos. However, I have dogs that I have the parents. Doesn't mean that I, it doesn't mean that the p puppies that I have of them are of my of my of my cre program of, of of my influence. I give all credit to the people the behind the pedigree that uh, basically created uh, the the, the uh, raw materials. For me to choose from and and put them together but again this is not my dog the dogs are puppies that i have that I show these are just my first generation such such as mechanic bug and deadly speed those are the first generation of chico's decision making behind it now let's look at the the so 50 so now let's look at the uh, parents of, of each the parent so let's look at mechanic now we know mechanic had nothing to do with Chico. Ch Chico just bought the semen and uh, or used you know and uh, put it under uh, cricket. Now let's look. At, so 25 percent, meaning mechanic, is not a Chico Lopez dog. So 25 percent of, of that genetic of this 
gener generation, which is the parents, grandparents, 25% is not, you know, uh, of Chico Lopez influence. Now let's look at uh, uh, Chico Lopez Damien, which is not Chico Lopez Damien. It's actually Icar's Damien. Okay, this is a, a, a tricky thing that Chico Lopez does. He buys, for example, Dam Damien, he bought Damien when the dog was like seven years old, eight years old, pretty old dog. And it, it, he didn't buy, I think he was given, it, given to him because nobody wanted the dog. So Chico grabbed him, and, and, but it was not, Chico didn't do anything other than, you know, uh, squeeze the balls out of that dog. All right, so another 25% of, of the grandparent generation is not Chico Bell uh, influence. So right now, 50%, if you count the mechanic and you count Damien, 50% 50, 50 of, the, gen of uh, the genetic influence is not related to Chico Lopez. Now let's look at the, uh, Special Forces Sangre. Special Forces, obviously you could tell from there that that also, that dog is also, was not, uh, had nothing to do with Chico Lopez in terms of uh, Chico Lopez influence influencing the creation of sangre. So now we have mechanic, we have Damien, and we have sangre that are not uh, something that Chico Lopez influenced for, for their creation. So they 75%, listen, 75% of the grandparent generation has nothing to do with Chico Lopez. And now if you look back further, uh, uh, first of all, if you look at uh, uh, Rocky and Ronnie, obviously nothing to do with Chico. Uh, uh, you chosen few awesome but Chico uh, uh, had, you know, bred two dogs. You know, one dog he bought to a uh, to Evolution Kennels uh, uh, Macho. So he had, you know. So also uh, under this one here, oh, I can't do. It. Uh, thinker is not even thinker. It's Tinker, like Tinkerbell, and it has nothing to. And has nothing to do. This one has nothing to do with Chico. It has, uh, how dare he? The chosen few think, thinker has nothing to do. He cannot uh, produce a pedigree that sh shows him uh, owning that. So another one that is not related to Chico. So, Damien not related to Chico. Blondie not related to Chico. When I say related, in terms, in terms of the tissue making uh, overall. So, again, here, none of it, 100% of it, has nothing to do with Chico Lopez, okay? The third generation, nothing to do with... So, in terms of genetic influence, Chico has very little to do with this genetic pedigree. So, again, uh, so when you talk about uh, Atos... In terms of genetics, Chico Lopez have very little, basically, a generation of parents, and 25% of, of, of the grandparents, I would say. So, again, Atos is not really a Chico Lopez dog. It just happened to be, but it doesn't reflect 30 years of uh, surgical uh, um, breeding. Okay, so this is Tony Montana clarifying uh, Atos pedigree and its influence.